Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a huge update for the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. We finally have the One UI 2.5 rolling out to these smartphones, bringing with it brand new features that we're gonna cover in this video. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now I do wanna let you know this update is rolling out to S10e, S10 Plus, S10, and of course the S10 Lite. So let me go to my settings real quick. Okay, let's go to settings. Let's scroll all the way down, go into my about phone and tap on software information. And as you can see now, we have One UI 2.5 with Android 10. So let's dive in and look at all the features. Now the largest update comes to the actual camera application. So let's launch the camera application, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna go to your more options here, okay, tap on more and go into pro video mode. And immediately you're gonna see a brand new interface. First and foremost, right over here, we have the microphone level indicator. So as you talk, it shows you the current levels for the microphone inputs, okay? The other thing we have over here on the top corner is the histogram. So now you can actually tap this button, enable and disable the histogram mode in the pro video mode if you want to use it if you are into videography you know it's a very useful tool uh, for video making the other great thing is going to be right here on the corner now it actually tells you what resolution and what frames per second are you currently recording in now in this case this is full high definition okay at 30 and then if i were to tap on the settings and if i were to go inside to pro video size by the way this area is also brand new so now you get all these resolutions to record with the pro video mode so i can pick a different resolution from here let's just do a uh, uhd at 30 frames per second that's 4k at 30 and if i go back out you'll see it's going to say it right here now it's uhd at 30 frames per second Additionally, if I tap on this Omni button at the bottom, we have a little slider. Here's the Omni button. You tap on it, and what you can now do is pick the microphone that you want to use on your smartphone. You can use all the microphones with capture sound equally from all directions, or you can tap on front, and what's going to happen is this is going to be the best option to capture sound coming from the front of the phone, maybe if you're using the selfie camera to record a video. Now this is gonna be for all the sound coming from the rear of the phone, so you get all these various professional options. You can also use a USB and a Bluetooth if you so desire. For example, if you connect your Galaxy Buds, okay, you can use the built-in microphone on the Buds via this Bluetooth microphone option. This is great. And one more thing, if you press and hold, we now have a brand new option that shows you auto focus and auto exposure lock right over here. That's a different look, okay? Now one more thing on the camera, if I go to single take, I now have the option to change the timeline for the single take option. Previously, it was locked to 15 seconds. Now you can go from five seconds to 15 seconds as you please. And you can, of course, pick anything in between uh, to customize your single take duration. All right, so those are all the camera updates. Let's move on. Now, another huge update that a lot of people have been waiting for is the wireless DeX functionality. So if you pull down your notifications panel, you'll see the DeX toggle right there. If I tap on it, what it does is it gives you the DeX interface. And if you have any smart TV in your house, you can select it from this list, and what that's gonna do is, it's gonna take the DeX interface and wirelessly project that onto a TV. So it looks like my LG TV just popped up here. Now we do have a huge update to our edge panels. I'm talking about a particular panel, so let's pull this in, and here's the apps edge panel. Now what you can do is, you can add many more shortcuts to the edge panel. Now previously we had a limitation, we can only add up to 10, now, if I tap on edit, I can add so many more. Let me just keep adding a bunch here. You can see the limit. I'm gonna keep adding, adding, adding. So you can add up to 22 applications to the edge panel now, which basically means you can clear up your home screen if you want and just have all your applications right here. On top of that, 
You can also tap on this button and access all your applications right here and even search them if you so desire. Now let me go back here real quick. There's one more thing with the edge panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to edit. I'm gonna just remove a couple applications to make room for an example. So let's go back here. Let's launch two applications. I'm gonna grab the settings. I'm gonna put it here. Uh, we're gonna make a multitasking window and let's do Samsung Notes. So what I can do is, let's say this is something I use all the time, this combination of applications. What I can do now is I can tap on the blue bar. Uh, first and foremost, I can just swap them over just like this and I can swap it again. Now here's the good part. Uh, I can tap on this again and I can tap on the plus button right here. Okay, let's bring that up. And it's gonna create an app pair and it's gonna dump it into my, let me just cancel everything here so you can see what I'm talking about, X. So I can go now at the bottom, I'm gonna have an app pair. So when I click it, it's simply gonna launch settings and notes at the same time. So that's a fantastic little multitasking upgrade for you guys. Now while we're in the notes application, we have some brand new additions to the note application. Number one, you can tap on PDF, okay? Then you can go and you can download any PDF that you want. So let's just tap on this one here, okay? I'm gonna tap on done. So it's gonna import a PDF file. And then what I can do is, let's say this was a document, okay? And I, I can tap on this one right here, pick a pen, and sign anywhere on the document. And just send it right back. When I'm done signing a document, I can tap on this button. I can save it as a PDF, share it or whatever. Look at all these options, okay? I can save them in any of these formats and then send them right back to the person that sent me the document for a quick sign. So Samsung Notes application has gotten highly advanced. You can sign documents. And also, here's something really amazing with this update. I tap on plus, okay? Let's say I'm in a classroom and the teacher is about to talk. I can tap on this button here, I'm sorry, the share button, and I can say I wanna record a voice recording. So let's start that, I'm gonna tap, it's gonna start recording. And as I record the voice of the teacher, I can take notes. So let me show you what the magic is. So tap this. Let's say the teacher is talking. Okay. Uh, let me just grab a pen here. All right. So check, 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 check. I'm going to tap on stop. Now, let me save this note. Okay. Let me just save the note. Go back into it. Tap on play. Okay, uh, let me just grab a pen here. All right, so check, 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 I'm gonna tap. Okay, so as I'm recording, as I'm sorry, as I'm taking notes, I can synchronize those with the voice of the teacher. I can do this in a meeting, in a classroom, or whatever you want. So amazing little feature you need to be aware of. I think it's gonna help a lot of people in the classroom in meetings. We also have a bunch of Wi-Fi upgrades. So let me go to my Wi-Fi menu. I'm gonna pull down the panel. I'm gonna go into my Wi-Fi menu. Now what the phone is able to do with One UI 2.5 is it can tell you if a Wi-Fi is a fast connection, a super fast connection, or a normal or slow connection. And it's gonna give you a little indication right at the bottom of the name. So if you're in a public location, you can pick the fastest Wi-Fi that you want and you'll see that right here. Additionally, if you are in somebody's house and that person is on your contacts list, what you can do is you, you're gonna have an option that says request password. You can tap on request password and it's gonna send a request to your other friend that has a Samsung phone and they can simply approve the request and then you'll be able to sign into their Wi-Fi directly without even having to need a password. So that's a Wi-Fi option, a couple Wi-Fi enhancements right there. Now one more change we have is to the always on display. So if I go to my settings, okay, let me go to my always on display, display right here. Actually, that's gonna be lock screen. Go to lock screen, uh, go into always on display, and when you tap on clock style, you have a new option. If you scroll over until you see a rabbit, you tap on it, and now you can choose a bunch of GIF images uh, to go with your always on display. Here's all the options. Now some phones, like the Note 10, got a Bitmoji option. 
the S20 doesn't have the Bit Bitmoji option yet. It might come soon, but as of now, all you have is the GIF functionality. So I just want to make sure that you guys, in fact, know that in case you've seen that in some of my other videos. Now, there's something I want to cover about the keyboard as well. So when you launch the, let me just launch my messages application and let me just go into the keyboard. Now, the funny thing is with One UI 2.5 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the S20, you do get a YouTube search button right here. I do want to let you know you're not getting that with the S10 or the Note 10 for some reason. You have all these options here. The YouTube search function is not going to be present here. However, there is a new function with the keyboard. Let's show you that. Let me just rotate the screen. Okay. So basically what happened was now you can go into your settings. Okay. And go into style and layout and then go into modes. And when you're in the landscape mode in this landscape mode, what you have access to is the split keyboard option. So when I go outside, you'll notice that the keyboard is now split into two. So if you're holding your phone with two hands, one on this side, one on this side, it's going to be a little bit easier to type, especially if you have a phone with a slightly larger screen. But again, you can always go back here and you can modify both the portrait view and the landscape view as you desire. Let me just go back to the standard keyboard for now and let's continue. Now, one more thing I forgot to mention in the Samsung Notes application, if you go to Notes application, uh, you do have the option to now create folders, okay, instead of categories. Tap on manage, add a folder, okay, just say X to this one. And what I can do is I can have folders within folders. So if I, let's say this was my school folder, okay, let's just rename this to school so you can make sense of it. Uh, now what I can do is I can go in here and I can create a subfolder. I can just say biology, okay, and then I can tap it again add subfolder mathematics, so just math, okay? So I can have these folders within folders option, school, biology, math. I can even add subfolders to actual biology. So everything is gonna be nice and organized with these brand new Samsung Notes updates. Also, when you launch your camera, and if you go into your settings, all the way at the bottom, there's this option known as touch vibrations. You can disable or enable these. If you enable them, what's gonna happen is, you'll get a little haptic feedback as you switch between modes. So I'm getting a little vibration when I go to video or to photo, but if I tap on settings and if I disable that, there's no more vibration, okay? And the good thing is that might save you some battery life, or if you like the haptic feedback, you can keep it as you desire, all right? Now, some people may or may not care, but One UI 2.5 does bring gesture support, full screen gesture support, for third party launchers. Just something to keep in mind, all right? All right, so that's the end of the update. So we do have some brand new features, definitely enhances the value of owning a Samsung Galaxy S10 with this software. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. I do wanna let you know, this is a Samsung Galaxy S10 unlocked version, okay? So some people got this early, some people are getting it now, and some people will be getting it a little bit later, but you'll get it. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.